Welcome to the first season of Almost Heaven Outdoors. This is Amber and I'm Teddy. We've got a lot in store for you. Stay tuned for all the action. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight with uh, nothing but thanks. Uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to spend this time together and build these friendships. Uh, we, we do uh, feel tremendously blessed with the success we've had today. We thank you for keeping everyone safe and healthy. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, that's the way to do it right there. Yep. Yeah. So it's time to head to one of our favorite states to hunt, Texas. But first, let's make sure our guns are sighted in with our Scorpion optics. Okay, so what just happened here is Teddy was sighting in my new scope or my rifle and he said, here, your turn. So I said, okay. His arm needed a break. So I took over and I hit dead center two times in a row, bullet holes touching. So I'm going to shoot one more time and then Teddy's going to shoot because he was nowhere near <laughs> the bullseye. So me and Big Bertha are at it again. I'm so happy. I love this gun. Me and this gun have history. I've had this gun and this gun only, my 300. I nicknamed her Bertha for at least 12 years. And every deer I've ever killed besides my first doe has been with Bertha. So we have this like tight relationship and we just know each other. And I don't even think that she kicks me like she kicks other people. It's just amazing when you have a bond with a gun like Bertha. I really feel like she likes this gun more than me. So Amber thinks it's her bond between her and her gun why I can't shoot this gun. But the thing that she didn't tell you is that I'm the guy that sighted it in before she made the first shot. So I'm going to take a little bit of credit. And I'm going to see if what she says is true. Now, if you go down there and look at that target, my bullet is in between her three. <laughs> I rest my case. Alright, so we'll go show Amber that Daddy can shoot too. Daddy can shoot too. This segment of Almost Seven Outdoors is brought to you by Tribe Archery, born to bow hunt. 
Demato Honda Yamaha of Elkins, West Virginia. And Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on. So we finally make it to Kerrville, Texas. Our buddy Jerry Reed owns a mountain home hunting service there. You know I don't ever get flowers. I don't know you like flowers. So leave it to Teddy to not turn the sound on. You know, I thought once again, it was a cameraman's job to check the sound. I didn't want to hear you anyways. Got a new covert camera. All right, we're going to our tree stand. We're gonna to try to find a place to put out a camera. I got Miss Callie with me. Love being a mommy. I take my baby everywhere. Um, we just had a bunch of access actually just run in front of Teddy across the road. Tried to get him, but I don't know if I was quick enough. So we're just gonna walk out here, out here in Texas and see what kind of spots we can get set out here. and Put our big and Jay out their covert scouting cameras and see what happens. We got a camera set and then we're ready. You see the red light flashing? We're ready to go. We got these all set up. Now we gotta do is pick up our trash. For all you parents out there that hunt and think you can't do it with a, a baby, Kylie Bear is 10 months old and we do everything with her. She went to the tree stand to check the tree stand when she was 11 days old and now she's 10 months old and she's still in the woods. We plan on keeping her there as much as possible unless she don't want to and then she's, we're still gonna make her. This segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by
Covert Scouting Cameras, the leader in wireless trail camera technology. Scorpion Optics, extend your hunting range. Sniper Hog Lights, light up the night. Almost Heaven Outdoors would like to thank these fine sponsors. So we've shown you Teddy's mistakes. And I've souped up Amber's spot. Now it's time for the serious hunter to get to business. August 18th, it's my third time going out to sit in the blind to try to get this access. I'm so excited. I've been waiting all day long to get out here. I've just seen an access out here. It's not as hot today here in Texas. Oh my gosh, I brought my bow and my gun because I'm so excited. I don't know what I want to use. I'm so afraid that he's going to come in and get away from me like he did last time. I know that he won't do that if I can reach out and touch him with Big Bertha. So I'm going to go set me out some Big and J Deadly Dust. Get that aroma going. I'm sitting in the blind and wait, so I'm so excited. I hope and I've prayed all day that God will let this big axis come in. Alright, I just got set up. I just set out some deadly dust. Um, I scared some deer probably 80 yards off. Um, they didn't blow or anything, but they kind of walked off, so I'm really hoping that this uh, deadly dust will attract them back in. One was a whitetail, but we can't shoot whitetail right now. Lucky for him. But I have my bow ready. And I also have my gun ready because I just don't know what I'm gonna shoot. I'm just very excited to be out here this evening. So I haven't been in the blind too long and I look up and here comes the axis right into the Big and J deadly dust pile. Sure enough, right behind these two does was the big boy. Let me call Teddy. Hope I can get service. Hey, I just shot one. Did you a buck? Yes. I don't think it's the big one, but I don't care. Oh my god, he Is jumped. He's not the big, big one, but he's nice, and he jumped like 10 feet in the air. Did you get it on film? Yes. Awesome. <sighs> okay, love you. Bye. Go see some blood. Look at all that. So excited. Okay. Let's find him. I seen him from like a hundred yards before he came in. He came that way. And I seen him going like this. And then 
two does walked in with their tails up and then he followed. Oh, it was perfect. Good Man, job. this gun smoked him. He jumped like 10 feet in the air. Oh, <laughs> I was shaking so bad. What's that? I was shaking so bad. Ow, this cactus. I got my axis in Texas. This segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by Performance Motors of Elkins. Welcome to truck country. Umarex USA Air Guns. And HME Products, a better line of hunting accessories. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and our website, almostheavenoutdoors.com, to see what Amber, Kylie, and I have been up to. All right, guys, this is, uh, we're headed out. This is our last hunt before we move back to the Mountain State. We, uh, we've been here for four months filming all summer in Texas. We, we had a blast. Killed some animals, met a lot of awesome people, but uh, God is telling us it is time for us to roll back north. So this is mine and Amber's last hunt here in Texas for this year anyway. So hopefully we uh, can get this done tonight. We've got Axis and we've got Black Buck out uh, where we're going. So hopefully Amber can get her first black buck tonight so wish us luck we'll be saying a prayer before we before we head out so what do you think baby i think i'm excited there'd be nothing better than to fill another tag here in texas before we head back home the thing i don't understand is why i'm always on baby duty or cameraman duty all right this is the deal um we originally came here to shoot an axis we've been seeing um and after we got up here and sit here for a little while, we were watching them, but the big boy never stepped out. All of a sudden, the field cleared. All the axes took off, and now there's some black buck in the field. And black buck are gorgeous. And if we have a chance to get a black buck, we're gonna take a black buck. So now we're just kinda gonna sit here and strategize and hope and pray and pray and pray, pray and pray real that God is listening and he wants us to kill a black buck. So after the axe is spooked and ran out of the field, we spotted a really good black buck. So it was time to put the moves on him. So we got in a good position. We're tucked in beside this little building, and now all we gotta do is wait. So while we were waiting for this black buck to come back in range, which didn't appear like that was gonna happen, here comes this axis to our right, and I wasn't gonna pass him up.
shot. I think I had even eaten any drug. This has been such an exciting night. We don't know what to shoot. This was like a total flip-flop. We didn't even expect this. No, we came in for a black buck, ended up with an axis, and I cannot wait to get my hands on him. Did you mark this slot? You've already there. <laughs> oh. Two axes in a week. Two axes in one week. God was listening. <laughs> It wasn't in the black buck form, but it was in the access form. It's my going home present. <laughs> Thanks, Texas.